Hello everyone, welcome back on this demo channel. I'm Ramkesh Singh, Unity game developer, YouTuber and blogger. I've done so many tutorials on Photon Unity Networking and in this today, what I'm going to discuss with you that there is a Photon and there is a Photon Cloud and there is a Photon Server. So whatever I have done these tutorials, this is based on Photon Cloud. And in today tutorial, what I am going to explain is I'm going to explain that how we can use the photon server and what are the basic requirement and why we need photon server photon cloud photon cloud play a very important role if you are a ND developer if you don't have a backend system so you can use the photon cloud and photon will manage all the your players your room creation everything will be managed by the photon even photon cloud also manage the dynamic room creation it means that if your uh, room maximum number of players is five so what will happen if six player will be joined so at that time new room will be created so all the manage all the thing is getting managed by the photon cloud so you have to not worry about it but why we need photon server we need photon server if we want to save data if we want to customize our room if we want to uh, save player position or any custom thing if you want to make so we need photon server so first let me show you that i have a project i have, have made the tutorial on this so this is the my project pun2 so basically what you have to do import the package of pun2 from the asset store okay and in that package if you want to use the photon server so you have to add some data so that data i will explain to you that how you can add the data so let's suppose this is my uh, this is my project 3d multiplayer tutorial i have already done and here if we are going in the photon and highlight server setting and here you can see servers and cloud setting okay so here are so many things and here is the app id like uh, you can watch my first tutorial that you have to register your application and uh, on the photon dashboard and you will get this id same with the app id with the voice and here is the huge name server so this thing you have to turn off if you are going to use self-hosted so currently i am going to talk about the photon server and this is for the cloud if you are on the cloud so no worry about it that will work this setting but if you are going on the server so you have to use name server off and here you have to provide your ip address okay ip address is something that where your photon server will be hosted okay i will explain that in the backend part where you have to download the photon server but currently i am explaining the front end part and then i will explain the backend part okay okay so here you have to provide the ip address ip address is something that you will create the communication you will create the connection in the photon cloud we have seen that try to communicate with the photon cloud but currently we are going to use our server at that time you have to use our ip address and this is the port and it's depend on which protocol we are using so on the basis of the protocol we use port most of the people use udp and you can use on the basis of your requirement on the your backend okay and this is the setting you have to perform the server ip address and port and everything will be same i will explain in the code what uh, the code we have to use and how we have to uh, consume the photon server but let me explain photon cloud here someone have asked self hosted server with the pun2 how we can use so i have explained that this is the same website okay so this is the link you can search photon server you will get and this is i have choose server and when you will choose the server so here you can get engine framework and here is the language so basically photon server is on c sharp and unity is also in the c sharp so there is two server here you can see server one that provide this photon server plugins allow you to extend the game room behavior okay you can control the game room behavior like private room or you can create your teams so it then in this kind of scenario you have to use the this game room behavior and this is the intercept in game events process player action easily callbacks there are so many callbacks and currently we are using the photon cl cloud callbacks but in this you have to create your own events to communicate with the server and this is the version 4 and here is the one more server that is the 
photon server is on the promise real time socket basically it is the real time socket means uh, you can create the events and you can send the data like a user profile user related data or your uh, dashboard or your leaderboards so you can perform everything by using the second one and the framework is extremely fast very simple to use and basically this is the socket and use the multiplayer api from the photon server to join many players together share the game session transfer data message synchronously okay so just you can download and basically for this you need a dotnet developer who can work on the c sharp and as a unity developer it will be a little tough for you to customize the thing so just you have to download and this is the documentation you can follow the documentation that how you are going to implement okay great and here is the about the protocols uh, and which protocols use which ports number okay so your backend guy will let you know that which port number you have to use and here is here is the comparison i think you should go photon cloud or photon server so currently uh, we were using the photon cloud and this is the best for uh, this is the best for indie developer and photon server is also play a very important role like you are making teen patti or ludo games so at that time you have to use photon server because there is lots of data going on and at that time you have to use and here you can read photon cloud it is the source you can learn about what is the source software is a service we you can call and this is the photon server means you can customize according to yourself and this is the comparison photon cloud photon server and in starting they give 20 ccu in the photon cloud i have already told you and in the photon server they provide 100 cpu 100 ccu and you can see these plans okay but one thing i want to mention uh, here that uh, you have to host this server and it's depend on you where you want to host your server like aws or playfab there are so many like amazon microsoft azure ibm gmo cloud gmo cloud upload so these are the platform you can upload okay great so i have explained in this video that how you are going to communicate with your server it should be off and here it will be ip address here will be port and then you can utilize your server and in the earlier version this is the not newest but in the old version uh, there was some other scenario like window player highlight setting so there was this type type of option like you can use the self hosted and there was option to do but nowadays they have changed the thing uh, you can see it's now looking like this and here is the option start offline mode so if you want to use offline mode you can learn on the foot on that what is the offline mode so you can turn on if you want to use but currently for the server you need server port and this thing off okay so that's it for today tutorial in next tutorial we are going to learn that uh, after the communication uh, how we are getting connection and how we are going to utilize the uh, events custom events custom events with the photon server okay so i'm not uh, making this tutorial uh, so much big so that you can learn easily with the unity okay so thanks thanks for watching have a good day if you are new on the channel so make sure subscribe the channel like the video and just drop in the comment box if you want to ask anything and thanks for watching have a good day see you in next vlog